Guys, the chickens here. We are back today with another Boom Beach video. In today's video, guys, super excited. We crushed it today. I can't wait to break it all down for you. Guys, make sure you do have the code chicken plugged into the shop. Uh, I'm doing some cool new stuff on the Discord server, so make sure you check out the video description and uh, check that out. I think we just got like a officially like partnered Discord server, which means we get like added bonuses. You get uh, animated stuff. Uh, it's just like cool stuff that you guys can use. I know not everyone is familiar with Discord, but it's basically like a gaming uh related chat app so you can you know talk to me talk to other guys on there that are playing warships and uh yeah so make sure you check that out it's uh it's it's very exciting so um <clears throat> here we're here we are now we're at 22 today i got up to uh 22.91 uh, so i i got to my boss fight um to get to yeah 22.91 i got to my boss fight to get to uh, rank 23 and then like as soon as I got there uh, just the seeker floodgates opened and we kind of got buried um, But I'm gonna show you how we're kind of counteracting that and where we're at now. So globally we're at 350 351 dropping a little uh, little by little but um, Yeah, so the biggest thing that we did today guys. Let's take a look at the tech tree here um, Now I upgraded my rockets to tick four today and we got shock mines, obviously, we, and we went 5 ER. That was that was the big thing. So we went to 5 engines. We already had shock launchers. We already had rocket launchers. We already had a pretty good tech tree. Um, now, the things I skipped out on, brick, uh, smoke, barrage, multi-node, uh, extra GBE, that's not as... Um, that's not as powerful as the other stuff. It's the fifth engine and everything like that. So I'm kind of looking at two paths here. Now, <clears throat> what I'm going to do, the, the, the smart play is to go ahead and get bombers. But uh, it would be cool. I mean, the guys in Legendary, they're probably going to skip ahead and grab heavy choppers. And, and the troop health is coming up soon. That's going to be so nice uh, to finally have. We do have a nice fat key vacuum here. 38 keys sucked away by the mech. Complete waste. But... Um, but yeah, so the next play is going to be to get to the bombers. But yeah, I was super happy with how today went. Um, obviously, the log doesn't look super clean right now, but that's kind of, you know, we, we got up to almost 23, and then we started kind of, it was like 50-50 hit-miss, hit-miss. So I want to show you guys the base I was running before uh, that got us here. So this was the base that, that I was using um, as soon as I went to 5 year. So this one is very good. This is also very common. You're going to run into this a lot. Um... I guess I can just show you uh, show you how this guy hit it. I'm not sure if he used Seekers or not. Since he's taking out Shock Mines, it looks like he did. But, um, but yeah, the way I would hit these <clears throat> is 5-3 um, Heavy Zooka and Shock Knuckles. And basically, the whole idea is you, you would... Um, why don't I switch to one of my hits? Because nobody... Uh, well, not everyone wants to see how to use Seekers. So let's go my replay. What do we got here? Okay, so this is basically the same base, more or less. So I'll show you guys how we're attacking it here. So we have... Um, <clears throat> I'll, I'll try to be less confused on the replay uh, today, by the way. Sorry about that yesterday. It's kind of funny looking back at it. But either way, so here's how we're doing it. Let's break it down. Uh, five five heavies, bullet with shock knuckles, and three zookas. That's all we need. Now, I was crushing it with this up until I got close to 23. Um it was unstoppable. I, I even fully cleared uh, a couple bases. So essentially the idea is you take out the one shock launcher with artillery or barrage, whatever you got. Um, and then you're just moving uh, moving up slowly with uh, with bullet and shock knuckles and the zookas. Use the critters to take out some mines if you need to. If not, then save your GBE. Because what we want to do, what I'm not doing here, and you can see it's uh, probably why we lost or actually I won this one, but not by much um, What we want to do next is shock the doom cannon keep the doom cannon down um, because between the shock knuckles You know the critters and everything else. We're also using five boats of heavies We got enough stuff to keep them alive really what these attacks honestly come down to is is kind of uh, the pathing of bullet So you see bullet goes look how much bigger he is than all the heavies. Well, um, you see bullet goes over to the right here Had he gone to the left? We probably would have got a couple more engines Um or at least one more, but it, it's, it's hard to manage. You see, I tried to reflare and ended up screwing it up. But that's basically what, he, what we want to do. So we want to get them into position, take out the shock launcher, take out the mines if we need to, and then we're just shocking the doom cannon and, and just moving up and using shock knuckles as we need to. Now, the base layouts do get uh, a little bit tricky. And you can see here, this layout is great against heavy zooka. It's great against tanks. 
um, it, it's going to stop those. The reason I switched to this base was because I was getting crushed by Seekers, um, Warriors, and Smoky Heavy Zooka. I was having problems with all of those attacks. Um, now, before I got up to the rank where I'm at now, those guys were all fizzling. So, you know, as you move up and, you know, push on the leaderboard and stuff, the players are going to, get, going to get better. So this is kind of what we had to move to towards now. Oh, also, guys, we got the official, check this out, Chicken Tumbler is in. And, uh, yeah. They are available in the store. I think they look pretty slick. Um, so I think if you check out the merch below, you, you can, uh, like, there, there should be a, a tagline in the video. I'm pretty sure it's on there. It's I think it's the number one slot. But uh, uh, tumblers aside, let's go ahead and get into some attacks here and see how we can make out. So, um, yeah. Yeah, so let's just get into it. <clears throat> so I'm still using heavies and zookas. I'm going to be using this until we get bombers next. But, uh, yeah, so this is, this is the base that we've been seeing. He's got rockets here. Uh, and shock launchers, so it's a pretty even match in terms of tech. Um, but yeah, this is going to be a little bit harder for us because this is more of an anti-heavy layout, whereas I'm running an anti-seeker um, kind of layout. So let's uh, let's look at this here. So I, what I can do here is I can go one, two, three, and that's going to take out the rocket launcher, and then I can go four back there, and that's going to take out the shock mine, and that's going to allow us to move up pretty freely so okay we got bullet on that side that's good and now we got to worry about the doom can i'm actually gonna throw a bucket of critters right about there now bullet is going over a little bit more towards the right so what i'm gonna try to do here i'm gonna try to do something sneaky i don't know if it's gonna work i'm gonna reflare them here i've not tried this yet so don't hold me to it if it doesn't work i don't know if this is a shock point let's try it no, it doesn't look like it is. Okay, so, yeah. That's not going to work. It's not going to work. It's not going to work. Jeez, uh, man. We got bullet going the wrong way. We got critters flying everywhere. Let's just go ahead and flare into this engine before things get too disgusting. Um, and we're not able to get a single engine. Oh, my God, man. <laughs> that couldn't have gone any worse. That could not have gone any worse. Wow, okay. A tiebreaker. No way we won that. Are you kidding me? Yo, that, that was just straight luck. <laughs> that was just 100% straight luck. I should have lost that for sure. Um, Let's take a look at what he did real quick. That was honestly the worst attack I've had. In a, probably. I, I say it every video. The worst attack I've had all day once I'm recording, huh? But, um, yeah, that was bad. That was bad. So, this guy also fizzled out. He just he just got melted there. <clears throat> he just got melted. It's funny. It, it's it's like you know we, we play so many battles. It's like we see the same hit, and it's like sometimes it works and sometimes it doesn't. Obviously, there's more to it than that, but it, it just feels like that when you play enough. You know what I mean? Um, yeah, it can be frustrating. So, all right. So let's get back into this now. Uh, I I think the the biggest thing is if we can get to 23 tonight. I don't really have any effective tech. I don't really have any good push points until we get to bombardiers. But if we can get that rank chest, we're gonna get bombardiers that much faster rather than just sitting back and collecting diamond chests as they pop up. Um, that's how you progress in warships, man. It's all about those rank chests, getting them early. That's how those top guys, those guys that are in legendary right now, you know, they're already moving on to heavy choppers and, and things like that. Um, not to say it's all on rank chests, but I'm I'm just saying that it's very important. So. Make sure that you're trying to take advantage of those. All right, let's get into this. I'm ready to go here. <clears throat> all right, here we go. Uh, all right, this is the same base again. Interesting. We're not going to get as much value out of the shock launchers. Level 8, it's not max. 10, I think that's tick 3. So he's got pretty weak rocket launchers. That's good. We've got a shock point on the doom cannon. That's also good. Um... Yeah, so I mean, basically, we just want to avoid um, trailing out one, two, three, four, five with, uh, with with bullet. We want to try to keep him to the left as much as we can, and that's really going to be the deciding factor on if we win or lose this. One, two, one, two. Now let's go. I like to throw critters on the early shock mines. Uh, one, it distracts shock launchers and uh, obviously pops the shock mine, but. If you do it at the right time, you can get them. You can get the critters to um, 
pop the shock mine and then wait go ahead that's a nice angle for bullet uh there's not really actually <laughs> um so let's go ahead and shock here and shock here try to get everyone in a decent position now where's bullet gonna hit next he's gonna go right on that mortar that's not too bad just gonna be careful those zookas don't go are they seriously gonna go inside of that box all right let's flare them over this way while we can still i'm gonna shock this let's throw critters down Man, another another weak attack kind of. So that's a nice shock knuckle from Bullet. That's what we want to see. But uh, we really want to be clearing two plus engines um, on these five ER bases. That's what we want to be doing. That's kind of the goal is uh, at least two, two and some damage. One is really not cutting it. Um, you know, we're relying on our base pretty heavily here, but let's see. Yeah, he's got the tanks coming in hard. So, yeah, it looks like he's going to clear two. I don't know, actually. This could go... It just depends on where Bullet is. It looks like he's got the shock launchers and the doom cannons kind of unlock. Um, we got boom cannons in range. If Bullet goes down quickly, we might have a chance. We've still got all five of our engines up, but he's got a lot of... Okay, Bullet's down. Um, <clears throat> come on, doom cannon, get a shot for us. No, no, no go. Okay, so that tank is good there. How did that uh, how did that cannon go down? Yeah, the rockets aren't going to be able to stop that. It looks like he's got yeah, he's got f two ERs, so we're going to lose that one, but that's the idea. It, it it's rough seas right now, man. It's uh, it's it's not easy, so you know, I'm I'm try I was trying to build against seekers, now I'm getting hit by tanks. So I mean, it's you know, one or the other. Use either one or the other of those bases. Um I'll zoom in a bit so you guys can get a nice screen grab of this one and I forget if I had it loaded up for this one or not. Yeah, here's another. Um, I'll zoom in a bit again so you guys can get a nice screenshot of that one. That's a solid base. That's pretty standard for what we've been seeing. Um, and yeah, so there it is, guys. I'm still happy overall today. We were able to uh, make some pretty good progress there. And uh, yeah, now we just got to wait. I'm going to upgrade the rockets next. I think that's going to help be helpful. Um, and then it's just onwards and upwards to bombardiers. So let me know uh, what you guys think down below in the comment section. As always, thank you so much for watching. That is going to wrap it up for the video today. Make sure to leave a like if you found it interesting, entertaining, or informative. And we'll see you next one, guys. Chicken out. Back, back.